Okay, so just while that sets itself up and I'm waiting for Twitch to tell me about my dashboard, let's see what other controls we have here. Huh, I could have messed with all of that. Now I know. Sound settings. There really isn't much you can customize. I guess they were gearing this towards um, consoles a lot. What did I do there? Oh, credits. Okay. Well, let's load the game. Twitch still hasn't given me the option to view my dashboard on my phone yet. It should be really nice if it did. Just saying. There it goes. 90 seconds later. Good to catch up. Fucking Twitch mobile app. <clears throat> Press enter to open or close a door. Press enter to do another thing. Press enter to do this thing. For you. Should be on your map. Let's let the, the world generate in because apparently this is Minecraft. Oh, so what are we doing? We are house hunting this, this time. Okay. So you? Uh, should we? No. Let her cool down. She'll come around eventually. What else did we need to do? To get out of here for a while, <clears throat> You feel like going house hunting? Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Happy to help. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Yeah, well, you're gonna lead me towards that fucking while. house. See Your call. Um. Oh no, we lost somebody. It's not like they're not gonna keep spawning anyway. Um, where are we? Looking. What am I looking? I don't even know what I'm doing. Inventory, that's right. Okay, we've got plenty to go on. I think we've got more meds than we actually need. Yeah, we don't need... We can leave those if we've got the Flintstones chewable morphine there. And naturally, we're going to take this one. Which has been repaired because this game is lovely. Hey, where's my other one gone? Oh, for fuck's sake, game. This is why I don't get nice things. <clears throat> Nudge my phone over there so that I can actually see where I'm going. Oh, there it is. Okay, well. Just park here for a moment. Oh, and another one. Oh, we got a few takers. Oh, we don't want to get too far away. All I wanted to do was move this thing. Oh, that's right. Last stream I finished up by, um... <clears throat> by just driving around until I got it to save. That's why we're parked over here in the Stoby Pole. Might as well park this one back here. Good enough. <coughs> Pardon me. Get that one repairing while we're out and about. Oh, my poor suspension. He says about to put it into a fucking tree. Oh lord. We What do you think? Guess in the box. I'll go with that. 
I have no interest in relayering that close to home. Just set up an outpost there. <clears throat> or not. on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. My dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. Oh yeah, we need to go and get his of thing off of his body, don't we? Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? And that was when I moved to Alabama. To live up to. I didn't handle it well. As soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Denver and <coughs> going to college. What happened? <laughs> Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this is my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. So we want to find something other than this fucking this house. I know that's where it's going to encourage me, but I know that there is something bigger and better that I would rather move into. Oh, I just had this cleaned. Out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we can fortify pretty easily, and check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous, I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Yes, the house is what he wanted to get in, totally. Jesus! See? Help me. Kill him. Hey, cultural skeptic, how are you? What the hell was that? Don't know. That that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nah. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Well, you're the one that wanted to live here. Regroup at the warehouse. Requires eight people, 30 materials, which I'm sure we just got in the backpack. I mean, it is a nice house. Location is nice and central in terms of gathering. What was this? Literally just someone's belongings. Fine. But, this is where I think we end up, is at the warehouse. This is... I wish that Stalker had more of this to it. Stalker gets very, very barren very quickly. Same with Fallout 3. I suppose it, in Fallout 3, at least, once you get to the point where you've unlocked Enclave everywhere, it's something. Now, these are the parking bay. We'll just go around. Oh, that was close. 
<sighs> so we've got a few different parking bays here. Now Fallout 3 is good once you've unlocked Enclave, but otherwise, again, well, very, very empty. Might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. <clears throat> sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's like all of my kids. But he's not wrong at the same time. We've got this place locked down. Right, so this place is secure. I mean, 12 people. 50 materials, but we could make this work too. If anything, I'd make this the base and use the um, the tree fort place as my not outhouse, my outpost. Jesus Christ, my outhouse. You don't want to mix those two up. I'm assuming that there is nothing to search here. Well, let's... Just get our sneak on and then check our map. <clears throat> okay, so we can move our home base with this. Huh, no. So we can move here if we want. Oh, we have enough people. 12 people, 50 materials. Yeah, I'd say we've got enough. So we could move it here if we really wanted. This is a better location than... I'm just going to hide from that horde. Wait, I can watch them shuffle past. This is a better location than the tree fort. Tree fort has a. Oh my god! I'm gonna end up with the fucking tree fort. I know it now. This is you. It's going to happen. <clears throat> See, I want space so that I can upgrade to have the library and all of that. And I don't know if having them spread across multiple sites is going to do anything about that. So if if I leave that one there, do I still gain the benefits of that one? I don't recall well, those fucking zombie hordes. Trial and error. This is true. We could, we could work our way up. We can slowly upgrade. It's not like I'm in any rush to finish this. I want to watch those zombie hordes do their thing. Can we, do we get a full fucking turf war going between them, or what? Come on, guys. It's like the single worst possible fucking time to go and check on my car. <clears throat> so that one's gone there. SUV, pick up, pick up. A modified sedan. Oh, that's that thing I dumped in the field. And they're going on their merry way. Oh dear. You know what, we're going to end up researching this while we watch the zombies do their thing. They shuffle along. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Ah, oh, the wiki. The best place for information, of course. There's a restaurant we can get, apparently, the Alamo, which is in town. Here we go, number of plots. We have six plots. Four parking spaces. 
versus the house which only has three plots. I don't want to panic you, but we may have a problem. What happened? I've been talking to some of the other survivors. A bunch of them are talking about some new disease that's been hitting their people. I think we just saw it. Yeah? Well, better stock up on meds. Pastor Will's not looking so great. Okay, so we've moved here. I guess I've wasted enough of your time. Let's get out of here. Hey, don't be a stranger. That was awfully quick. Oh, this feels better. Right, that's obviously going to be my library in there. But the sleeping quarters. Oh, we need to start fixing things up, apparently. Fix those. We have parking bays. Oh, we'll see what we have to work with once that's all done. I imagine we're going to want more supplies. Now, what happens... Okay, so the church is now empty. Does our stockpile get moved? Helps if I have my chat open as well. So what's in here? Okay, so it all came with us. Almost. We didn't take our guns. Which is slightly disappointing, but we'll live. Got 13 people. We got enough people to. Oh, yay, things are happening. Um, so that's done. That's done. So I'm guessing we've already got upgraded things. Oh. Uh, but still, we've got more spaces to add than we would have had before. So, how do we upgrade to a library? Now, being the academic that I am, you bet libraries, the library's going to get built in. Uh, we really should also put up kitchen. We don't get any fortifications. Ah, oh, that's something I hadn't realised. Medical, training, cooking, storage. You bet I'll have a garden. I'd really hope to have a turret. Oh well. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll put the garden there. I'd like, I'd like the garden there, I guess. Uh, yeah, garden, training area. So, put a garden. Oh, we can build a watchtower. Okay, so that's where it goes, apparently. We can't build another one. Oh my god, the menu in this is still a thing. We can't build a watchtower anywhere else, but we get one there, which is arguably one of the... Oh no, it's facing the... Yeah, okay, I'll shut up about that. Um, training area. I'm going to put the training area here. We've only got 22 materials left. We can't do much with that. Do we have a cooking area? No, we don't. Food can go there. And... What have I left out? Oh, a dining area as well. We need a cooking and a dining area. Oh, we can have our fine dining watching the zombies stroll past. But we need to find more building materials. And yes, I will set up an outpost where the tree fort is. We could probably beef up our defenses, just to be safe. You know what's awesome? Get off of my car, you asshole! Thank you. Right, let's go sit up that...
Okay, hop out. <clears throat> and uh, establish outpost. What? I can't. We can't set up an outpost in a home base site. How the fuck does that work, game? Seriously? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Not even going to question it. <clears throat> Can we fucking... Oh, of course, I'm hitting the wrong... <sighs> Different buttons for everything. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so we can't do anything else there. But time's running short on some of this. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so we will just go and park this one here. Because that needs some repairs. We had a four wheel drive somewhere. Oh, we'll grab this little sedan. That'll do. Or not. I'll grab this piece of shit over here and we'll swap it out for something else on our way back since we need to head back to... I wanted to call it Good Springs then, but back to the, the first town. <clears throat> We've run into a bit of a snag. Of we course you have. You're a little extra. Of course it would. Everything's faster if I fucking do it. Funny how that works. <sighs> that was the lamest horde ever. Somebody's broadcasting something. Charlie Actual, this is Charlie Six. We got a bunch of civilians heavily engaged with Zed about a half click down from our position, requesting permission to assist. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Say again, negative. Remain on station. My ass remained on station. These people are getting their asses handed to them. Do you hear me, Charlie Actual? Charlie Actual! <clears throat> I'll check this out next. I hear ya. Aw, a shred of humanity. Completely misrepresenting the armed forces, but sweet nonetheless. Here we go. Alright, so which way to that one? All the way at the... Of course we're backtracking. Of course we are. That's how this works. That's exactly how this game works. What's that? You were headed to one side of this one side of the continent? Nope, back you go, asshole. <clears throat> I'm not trying to not kill the zombies, I'm just trying to not fuck up my paintwork. This way when Salt goes to watch the VOD and he sees shiny cars without smoke bellowing from them, he'll think he's in the wrong place and mosey along. <clears throat> Just kidding, we love you, Salt. Anything at home I should be worried about? Something cropped up with the garden. No Jesus Christ. Fuck's sake. What happens? I mentioned Salt. We can track it down or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. A bloated zombie. Well, let's see how our fucking car fares against that. Come on, you fat fuck. <laughs> Can 
Come on. That was too easy. See, I know this is how I die. Run back to the car. <clears throat> Come on. I'm not going in there because we know how that ends, but apparently he's not coming out because he knows how that ends as well. So we just move on. And we take it out on them. Oh, we got more coming. There we go. Oh, there's a horde in the building too. Well, we'll worry about that later. God, that felt good. Oh, we're gonna backtrack. We are heading down. Oh no, we could try heading down this main road on our right. Hey Billy, how are you? Uh, we want to go down there actually. Yeah, pretty good. Just woke up. Thought, why not play some more since I've got a few more hours before I've got to go and collect younglings. Somebody's got our six. Hey, try not to shoot us in the back, okay? Heads up. We got zombies coming in. <laughs> well, let's hear it for more violence. Oh, they're on me now. Well, that's a, a solid grasp of the chain of command there, Sergeant. Just saying. Bitch, please. I've broken up worse fights between my kids. Oh, that was exciting. Whatever you say. All right, all right. I apologize for all the times I implied I'd shoot you in the head if you kept breaking quarantine. <laughs> Tell you what. I've got some pool with the artillery troops attached to my unit. I supply them with seized whiskey, and they rain hellfire on any hordes that happen to know it's <laughs> me in the You get in a tight spot, give them a shout on the radio. I'll get the cannon cockers to send you a special delivery. But, uh, we should get moving. That fight's gonna draw more of them here soon. I'll see you around. Can I just have what he had? Oh, do I care about any of this? Not really. Hey, are you gonna go look into those survivors I mentioned? Fuck's sake, Lily. I actually wouldn't mind a glory kill type system here where it where, when you can use the execution moves it tells you because right now you just have to keep hoping for the best 
To watch him fucking fall and die as gracefully as Maya did yesterday. Took him that long to identify a field. Yeah, I was afraid of that. We got a horde on our hands. Yep, they're trees. Stay in school. Stay in school, Marcus. Spotted a weird one. I think I've seen enough for now. Hey, let's knock any of the zombies with guns. Just saying. You worked out how to use a ladder. Well done. Now where did I park? Of course I parked in the middle of the field. Of course I did. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll take these guys. Come on, bitch. Oh, well, we get to science this one. <laughs> that made such a thunk, I love it. Oh dear. This is our cue to exit. Okay, so now we've worked out who wins that one. Can't remember who it was yesterday asking what happens if you hit a roo, but basically that. Damn, I'm tired. <sighs> Alright, I think there was a car back up here that we can grab. Yes, there was. And of course there are zombies here too. Of course there are. There are zombies fucking everywhere. I need to remember which country I'm in, which side the fucking driver's side is. Okay, home we go. I think. Let's go get somewhere a bit safer and then we can work out where we're going. Out of curiosity, while we're here, how much boot space does a ute have? Six again, gotcha. So, let's follow this one to the end. Actually, we're going to upgrade because that black four wheel drive there is going to be much better for us than this little little old Ute. I'm oh, sorry, it's red. I'm sorry, it looks looks black at night. And hey, what's in here? safe than sorry, it's not like we're running low on them. And who the fuck is that? Okay. I'm curious to see how that ends. Scratch that off the list. I'll run this home. Ah, <sighs> suppose we should Oi! Do you mind? Since you're not giving me a choice whether I do this or not, game. Damn, I'm tired. 
One. I won't bother checking that one until I've put this in the boot or I'll forget where it is. So, I don't remember if that feature was in the original game, but holy shit if it was, I was making life so much harder for myself. What have we got? More children's chewable morphine and some other painkillers. And that's everything here. <clears throat> so where to next? Ah yes, the, the scavenger hunt. Which is on our way anyway. Oh dear. Not good for the car, but it could be worse. <clears throat> That's it, you show that rug who's boss. That's what she said. We could use your help in this area. What do you want to uh, do here? I want to finish searching all of the stuff and looting all of your things and then I will help you kill the fat fucker. Incendiary rounds for a shotgun I'll never own. What the fuck is gonna be in that? Oh. We finally found a 556 rifle. 20 round clip I assume. Well, let's go. Let's go hunting. Where is it? Okay, so he's somewhere around here. It shouldn't be too hard to. Oh, yep, that's right. Fire key. Huh. Well, that was easy. Looks like trouble up ahead there. I'm not going to waste ammo on that, as fun as it would be. God, what is with that? Always double tap. I suppose this would have been another home site location. Attention citizens. If any of your loved ones have contracted what's being called black fever, we advise you to quarantine them immediately. While at this stage the army does not believe the disease is communicable, its onset is extremely unpredictable. An unexpected death will lead to spontaneous reanimation. Better look around some more. Hello? What's in here? We have... A landmine. Stockpiled since 1974, so you know it's good. Ah, uh, that 2x4 can just go away quietly. We'll take a landmine. Apparently there are other things here too. Ah, there we go. Hopefully it's just a rucksack. Building materials by the look of it. <clears throat> nice, nice. Indeed. I'll run this on. Roger that. We'll be <sighs> oh, and we got the stuff for the garden as well while we were here. What I'm gonna do is just wait. Take care of you. We need the building materials just to fix our fucking cars. Ok, 
Come on. That's what everyone needs to play. This is the most cathartic combat I've seen in any third person game. Uh, we wanted that pile of shit behind this trailer of memory. Yeah, I see that red dot. I cannot. Is he still coming for me? Yes, he is. Oh, that was a waste. So was that, but it was fun. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Uh, can I? I can't destroy that. No. Oh dear. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna waste ammo on him. That was easier. Oh, I've got the barrel there as well. Two zombies at the back of the building. Noted. And some fuel. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Oh, there's more here. Christ. What am I missing? I swear to God, if it's just that fucking saw or that that two by four in the in the the box. Can I hit you through the fence? Oh no, you just come to me so I can beat you in the head. Good, thank you. Ha! And we can shoot them through the fence. Good to know. Things are starting to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. Pop a screamer. There's some trouble we might want to look into. Nope. 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 You're not armed, you're just armored. That was easy enough. So what am I carrying in my inventory that I can happily get rid of? Tell you what, we can take these painkillers, grab that 2x4 and just see if that is what's holding this whole thing up. Nope, there is in fact another thing to search here. Jesus Christ. Start of the game. Where are all the resources? This end of the game. There are too many resources. I can't win. Oh, the toilets aren't glowing. At least not the way that things that we need to search glow. Um, what have I missed? Oh, the fucking guitar case or whatever it is. Probably a rifle case. That's how little I know. <clears throat> I don't have enough space for this. Oh, we will make some space. Let's see. Petrol bombs. Two by four, that can go. Nah. And five fifty six ammo, Where which we actually need. Incendiary shells. Um, honestly, when have I used a flare? Oh, there's nothing left here now. Okay. So can we reload? We can. Almost out. Did I put anything in the boot of this one? No. Good. Oh, fuck it. We're going to go kill some more zombies.
Come get it. Oh no, we got a horde there. Went from being real smart to real dumb real quick. Enjoy getting infested. Oh, I was hoping to squish him. There we go. How's it going? Lots of zombies right behind me. Found this while I was out. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Just drop the spare guns off. Scratch that off the wish list. And that one. And that. Alright, so he's getting a bit tired. Let's dump some stuff and swap to Maya. <clears throat> All right, uh, the shotgun can stay. Drop those. And that. And that. Okay, have a rest. Now, what are we going to do here? You can be upgraded. What do you need? A library, which we have. We can research stuff. But fuel's never been such a big fucking deal. What about this one? That's more like it. And dining area. Protects against vermin. A feast, a big meal, I assume that that needs... Oh, a good cook. Okay, noted. Try preserving some food. Hey, maybe, how are you? Yeah, why not fuck around with that? You need to look up some more building materials. Holy shit, do we need more building materials. We can't upgrade our parking spaces. We have a machine shop, but we can't turn it into anything else. I guess we'd have to develop this into a munitions point, which is great to have next to the kitchen. Our bedding. We're actually short on bedding, aren't we? Citizens sheltering at the courthouse are required to turn in any and all supplies found to the designated supply officer. Failure to do so will result in docking of rations, imprisonment, or expulsion. Have you missed anything? Well, we moved house. We've gone from living in the church up here all the way to living in the industrial zone. Or the trucking warehouse in the the main city so we're, we're kind of building up here we've gone from having what was it two or three plots to having six that we can develop and still not having enough to do everything which is a little frustrating but it is what it is what we need to do is decide where we're going next does she have a gun she has a gun good Oh, you chose poorly, friend. She also apparently doesn't have a melee weapon. Yes, she does. She needs to equip said melee weapon. But I'm also not unimpressed with that. Um, what colour did you dye your hair? If it's any other colour than purple, I'll be disappointed, of course. Uh, so what are we doing with her? We eventually need to go and meet the judge, but I really don't care. We need to go up there. We're going to go up back all the way back to where it began now and find that thing for Lily. Maybe with a different vehicle. 
How's our Ute doing? It's not looking too bad. I reckon this will make it. Pink, but ended up being orange. Oh, redhead. Okay, I stand corrected. There is, in fact, a better color to dye your hair than purple. Purple would have been a, a good choice, though, still. Just saying. Oh. What I'd like to know is if there's some kind of freaking beast car hidden in this game that I really I really should look that up see if there's some gem hidden away in the game someone's left a fucking HQ Monaro sitting in a, in a garage on some abandoned farmstead Well, that takes care of the sign. Oh, That's sweet. Now, honestly, you dye your hair whatever colour you want, maybe. You're the one that's got to wear it. That's it, squill, bitch. Should be an Easter egg after the 50th time you build something, they they hack, you know, hack, they like copy the Protoss voice. Well, this has a lot more durability than the sports car, just saying. Hmm. That might have been a decent outpost, actually. Nope. Well, that's it. We've all got to fill the time however it works for us. I'm playing video games when I'm not working. I'm desperately resisting the working from home thing because it will be a logistical nightmare to actually implement in terms of actually relocating all of my physical files home. Because yes, a lot of it is digital, but a lot of it also can't practically be digital. So it is one of those things that it will... Uh, given the the expectations that have now been imposed on my profession, I need to find every efficiency I can. So leaving it in the office, where frankly there is nobody else, and the, and the office itself is locked off from the public now, uh, is a better way of doing it. You know, it's like if I had a, a, a granny flat set up as an office and I was moving between the house and the granny flat. I'm just moving between my house and my office, which actually isn't that much further away anyway. My commute is five minutes. <clears throat> We've run into a bit of, a snag. of course we have... Oh, we're going to level up here. Wait, get off. Oh, we got another. Oh, I'll just... Oh, I'm willing to bet that the ranger station will be infested when we get there. What are our supplies? Some painkillers and some snacks.
Not too afraid of infestations though now. Oh, I deserved that. I really deserved that. Let's get up here. armored zombie, which I'm assuming means that he's especially uh, resistant to gunfire. Uh, I wonder if we can get 7.62 ammo. Oi! Nice try. Alright, now if I had been playing in first person, they would have gotten to drop on me and it would have been probably better. Honestly, I would have been disappointed, but it would have been better. Lord, I have an email. It's just eBay. Go away. <clears throat> Restroom. Ranger station. Yeah, it's not marked. I guarantee you it's going to be infested. Well, let's mark it. Oh, there's no way it won't be infested. Right, well, let's not follow the path where the zombie horde is. Can we execute him already? Thank you. I really want to be sneaking again for the... the horde over there. Because, yeah, not getting my face eaten should be a thing. How are we doing? We are straight shot there. <clears throat> Alright, so we get in, we get nommed, we get out. Calling that fucking airstrike. I think I've got something for you. Feel like checking this out? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, well we can worry about that one when we get home. I've got a, a bloated one over there. If I had a silencer... Actually, I think this one does have a silencer on it. Probably worth... Yeah, I'd say that was worth the risk of firing a shot. Nothing else seems to have been alerted. Game is saved when it inevitably crashes. <laughs> New South Wales police have the best fucking media communication anywhere. I adore their media outlet, I really do. Reminds me of that, that scene in Buffy where Principal Snyder's like, can't you just be doing drugs like normal teenagers? See something. Fucking called it. Mm. Hey look, it's where she did her first fucking dive. As you know, we really don't want to... Oh. <clears throat> Christ. Um. Hmm. 
Some firecrackers probably would have been wise. A distraction. Everything else has been looted. Oh, looks like we're on. Oh, I can't shoot through the door. I can pick them off one by one as they come out, though. Save your ammo. We're probably going to end up carrying at the top of that fucking tower. At which point we're going to want all of the ammo we can get. <laughs> Me neither, ghost. How are you? Me me mamo, me me mame. <sighs> Fucking worked. All right, the screamer was worth the bullet. Yeah, yeah. Had to sleep in because kids aren't a thing for another few hours. Killing some zombies. Really, really fighting the urge to just upgrade and play Doom Eternal. Can't complain. Wait, get out, get out. I can't see a fucking thing because of third person perspective bullshit. Looks pretty clear to me. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate third person at times like this. Fucking Christ! This is what's gonna get her killed, is the inability to actually fucking attack in the direction that I'm looking because of third person! Nope! Nope, this is where she dies. Nope. Nope, I have absolutely nothing positive to say about that. Fucking... Nope. Utter bullshit. I am calling utter bullshit. I've gone from being, hey, this is really good combat, to... Fucking third person. Because, hey, I'm gonna look this way even though we're cameras facing that way. And we're gonna attack in front of us because that's just how we fucking roll. I got nothing. I really have nothing that's actually not got me in a good fucking frame of mind. It's just part of the game. I completely get it. It's just a game. It's just part of the game. But it's actual bullshit. Who the fuck are you? Oh, we're playing as somebody new now. So, you gonna go talk to Joe Wilkerson? You gonna eat a bag of dicks? So what the fuck is this guy gonna do for me? Oh wow, he's utterly... The accountant is better than this guy. Natural athlete, huh? With a cardio skill of fucking potato. And a gun with no ammo. It just gets better and better. <sighs> I am unreasonably pissed off about that. Honestly, she would have been I would have been able to get her out of that had she attacked in the direction that I was no, I'm going to just nope. Oh, let's go level up this fucking scrub. I 
need a breather. Actually, we've got something we can do. We get a bonus survivor. Who have we unlocked? Who did we get? Right, so they're all friends. Beer Pong is a skill that she excels at apparently. Good to know. But who did we unlock? Is that the one that just came along? I reckon that is. Um, just looking at what we have to work with right now. Hey, Pastor William can stay right the fuck put. Uh, Marcus is staying put and resting. Ed is coming along nicely. Where is she? What on earth is she wearing? Oh, it's just a low backpack. But again, it's got plenty of space. I'm not going to complain. Okay, so she's got some interesting things. <laughs> right? I reckon that she needs those. Put that back. What does she use? 45. How many rounds in a clip? Seven. We'll carry some extra ammo and see what she's made of. Still so fucking salty about that. Right, so it's precise, I'll give it that. Definitely doesn't benefit from the auto aim bonuses that the other weapons seem to give. Wow, this is terrible. Reload, get the inventory space. Gotta make these count. As if she can't just automatically use an execution move while she's wielding the fucking sword. I mean, it's cool. You know who would have really loved this sword? Fucking Maya. Oh, I love just not being able to look at what I need to do. I will never understand, honestly, I'm enjoying this game, but I will never understand who had the bright idea of, let's make a game where you play a character that your actions that you interact with the world as that character but you're stuck looking over their shoulder on a random angle at all times and you can't actually see things through their eyes or have full control over their actions instead you handle them like you're flying a remote fucking drone so we still got some stuff to take care of out there you may need to hurry i will never understand where that logic came from Some supplies. Send runners for pickup. They'll be on their way soon. Let's see what else is here.
More food! I'll take the other stuff and the rucksacks can be dragged home by whatever scrub they fucking send. We're clear. Hey, B-Cat, how you doing? Oh, and fuel? Is that a thing to search? No, it's not. Is there perhaps something up here to look at? Nope. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, that's cool. We can shimmy our way down. Okay, we're here. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Oh, that she's not a zombie. That's a zombie. Let me know if you want to head back together. Um, no, we're good. Might as well grab one. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. Is there another? Oh, there is another thing to check. It'll be medicine. It's clearly medicine. What else do you put in a jerry can at a, at a fuel station? It's... Yep, it's medicine. Totally. Car medicine. Found this while I was out. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know... Ah, uh, well. So, I hate to break it to you, Lily, but your dad's dead, and if you want his fucking pocket watch, you can get off your ass and go get it the fuck yourself. Oh, we did find one, but yes. We've managed to do one better with this. Just eat the fucking Twinkies. Can I climb this? No. Funny that. Oh, there's the way in. Fucking Doom 3 level bullshit. Confirmed. We're Zed free here. Surprised there's not slime all over the walls. Why can't I take her out and get her killed? Uh -huh. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Uh, you know what? Somebody else can come out and get this. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll get people moving. Thank you. How's it going? I'm almost there. I know you have a lot to do, but time's running short on some of this. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. So, who needs what? Coming home now. Mm. No, you're a good mate. I just hope everyone's okay. Lord knows there's always a VOD. These are just video games. You can come and go as you please. My hero. So who needs what? A shooting platform needs insulation, apparently. Oh, we were carrying some other stuff to put in there too. Okay, that was it. Wow, she's fucking frail. I don't understand the Imperial system too well, but I know enough to know that 15 pounds is not a fucking lot. I'm in position. Given that my daughter, when she was born, was the better part of 10. So she can ba she basically dies if she carries a, a two-month-old baby. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Fucking screamers. They ain't so tough without all the little zombie buddies around, am I right? Well, did I not find insulation? Apparently not. Oh, back out we go then. 
<clears throat> so where are we going this time? We've got the watchtower. I'm trying to click... My curse is here, cunt! Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. So the game was basically telling me where to go. Again, the game not letting me... You know, taking away the, the player agency is the best way I can think of it. There is a lot to search here. Just saying. Sit tight. I'm bringing the stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Dude, that'd be terrifying. Oh, well, the golden rule is always look after family first. Like I said, video games will be here when you when you're ready for it. But family first. Oh Lord knows that's why I'm not always recording and streaming. Is well, I have a life too. What's in here? Sounds like I've got company. Coming home now. Well, the company's outside, I don't care. <clears throat> I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. Okay, I'll round up everybody that's available. I'll have to go and scrounge up another four-wheel drive, I think. I found this old book on canning and pickling food. It seems pretty straightforward. I want to consider it for some of our surplus. Oh yeah, we can leave her gun behind since it's so- Oh, we left our 22 with Maya! Maybe we can- oh, Maybe we can go and loot our corpse because that'll end well. How's it going? I'm almost there. So, insulation. I reckon when we swap back to Marcus, we're going to mount a mission to go and recover her shit. Found this while I was out. Hmm. What you got? We're there. Oh, ah, that thing go. Cause yeah, that that that's way too heavy. That's half her fucking carrying capacity right there. She needs the twenty-two. I've never played that. Never even heard of it. <clears throat> right, Marcus. It's all on you to freaking solve this now. What have you got? <laughs> Not enough. Alright, if we're taking any weapon... Where'd my incendiary shotgun go, assholes? Well, how's our nail puller doing? Still pretty good. Do we have a wrench available? A shifter. Swap to that just because of carrying capacity. Again, we're about to be hauling Maya's shit home. Oh. 
How many can we carry in a stack? Four of them. Gotcha. What are you? Flintstones chewable morphine. We'll grab another one of you. We can carry four to a stack. We'll do the same with food. So our stack size has definitely increased with him. I'd grab a silencer if we had a weapon for it. Part of me wants to grab this mine. What can go wrong? We'll grab the mine. And we'll grab that. We can set a trap with those. Ooh, that does sound cool. You had me at pet play, B-Cat. You had me at pet play. Zombie horde headed towards home. Huh, well that's home's problem then. Now we don't have a gun. We are not going to have a gun. This is the, the risk we're taking now, but we have fire bombs, mines, and the egg timer. Uh, are we smoking already? Oh my fucking god. I don't even think we can really take out too many of these, can we? Oh my god, it's on fire already. Just wow. Well, we'll grab the other sports car on our way past. Oh, being ignored by zombies is definitely a good thing. Maya could have used that skill, for example. Yeah, this is more like it. I'm not even doing this for Lily's dad's thing. I should leave it there out of spite. I am literally doing this because I want my pistol off of Maya. And I'm leaving the sports car there because I want this one for its durability. Just hooning around. <laughs> I've never lived anywhere that they make much sense. Well, I say that and I now live in the country. But out here, you so these little, you know, they're they're almost sporty little, you know, slim things. They're not the you know, literal trucks that you see in in you know on American TV.
Oh, fucking, um... Ah... Uh, the Maluda, that's a... It's an HSV, isn't it? I, I thought that was a sedan. I didn't realise HSV made a, a, a utility. I wonder if they'll exist now that Holden's shutting down. End of an era. My heartbreak comes from the, the lack of any future Monaros. <laughs> I don't drive either though, I drive a Mercedes. I couldn't care less about what happens to Holdens and Fords. Well, I, I care about what happens to, to the, the people affected by the closure of the factories, but my interest in the vehicles themselves is negligible. Ah, the only nice Monaro I've seen is, a, is an old HQ sitting in some mechanic's garage with literally 8 kilometers on the clock. Other than that, they've all been driven to shit. Now, you'll occasionally find gems that are well looked after, but they've still, you know, they're not the kind that you'll ever be able to afford. You know, I could either have a, a car that I can afford to run, but, no, I suppose it'd be about the same for what you'd spend on the petrol and maintenance of keeping up a 40-year-old Monaro versus the upkeep on any European any European car. Hey, look. It's a wall of nope. Uh, we want to go down and around, I guess. Monaro is... Uh, you have the, the newer one was rebadged as a Pontiac GTO. Monaro is basically the the Holden muscle car. And this is how he dies. Yeah, basically. They were so they, they were you know the the thing through the sixties to eighties I think, and then they did a new one in around the year two thousand or so, maybe two thousand and two. That I think was also the first one that they ever released a V six model of. So you either had a, a supercharged V six because why, or a Gen three V eight engine. I remember that little trivia. But yes, then they were, they they were just you know, rebadged as Pontiacs for the U.S. market. I'm not a huge car person either. I've just owned a few in my life and and, and researched each as I've gone along. And so I, I felt I felt more comfortable buying, um, you know, a slightly older German car with a, a good history, because of my own experience with. You know, similar cars of that nature versus rolling the dice on a, a Holden Cruise or something. Albeit the Cruise was high up on my list as well. And we've got a Screamer down there that I really want to avoid engaging if I can at all. I'm also not going to hesitate to fucking run like a bitch if I get caught. Yeah? It looks like that was the last horde for now. 
I imagine that they wouldn't be such a big deal over over your way too, because they don't need to be, you know, they don't need to have the the the, the dash swapped over. I know it's a bit more complicated than just swapping. What am I meant to be doing here? Potential home? Are you fucking serious? Can I make this an outpost? No dice. Really? Yeah, we're both on the left-hand side. Yep, exactly. The sane ones. <clears throat> Which is something that Red laughs at now whenever I go to drive her car, because I end up using the wipers <laughs> instead of indicating. <laughs> There's the... Uh, as nice as my car is, they literally just move the steering column from one side to the other. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I want to get back this way. <laughs> nah, no hate, B-Cat. Friendly rivalry, but no hatred. Right. While we are here, um, oh God, shut up, Alan. Oh, we'll go and see what we can do to help him in due course. But what we need to do right now is find the thing for Lily. Can we not? Did we have to? Oh my god, we had to come up here separately with her because it's a fucking mission, didn't we? But yes, whenever I get into her car, I always end up instinctively using the windshield wipers instead of indicating because they move the steering column to one side, but of course the instruments are all still where they would be on the other side. A bit like when you drive a manual and then you, you swap to an automatic and you find yourself just re uh, reaching for a clutch that isn't there. Which is even more hilarious in my car because that's where the handbrake, the handbrake's a pedal in mine, and so where where there'd be a clutch is a fucking handbrake, and I'm, in retrospect, really glad that I haven't made that mistake yet. Oh fuck! I promise to let the internet know if I ever do, though. Hopefully, there'll be video of it. Oh dear, I'll just cut through here. <clears throat> there are many hordes at home, apparently. Wow. Yeah, okay, well, I'll eventually get back there, because you assholes can't defend yourselves. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ.
And I can get there and I can just run them the fuck over, but I'm half an hour away still. Because, you know, the game decided to fuck Maya. Basically, yeah. There are times that this feels like everything I hated about Stalker Clear Sky. So, something just came in over the radio. There's a horde. I think we want to go around the other side. I think we're okay. Oh, fucking screamer. Shots. And the other zombies just like, oh, you okay, bro? <laughs> yep, as it should be. Only worry I had with the scream was making sure that the horde wasn't too close, because that could have ended badly. God, dogs in this game would be a nightmare. Can you imagine trying to fight off a pack of dogs in third person? It's hard enough IRL, I mean... He had the high ground, he should have kept it. The glory kills are adorable, but yes, they they could use a bit of polish. Um, Damn, I'm tired. which one are we gonna take? We should probably bring Myers home. <sighs> we'll just throw it in the boot. Ah. <clears throat> uh, I don't know enough about wrestling to prob probably follow that. Red might, she's got a, a grappling background. Well, that was satisfying. Even if you are going to have to change car now. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot about the universe that I just really don't know. Hmm. I learn something every- I, I learn as much by streaming as I do by getting out of the house. No worries, Billy. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by.
No, I'd want to get the, 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 the extra shiny car, but this is going to kill more zombies than that. And we need something that can mow down a horde. Not that horde, though. <clears throat> he couldn't make up his mind, so we made it up for him. Okay, I get it. They want to move in. Oh, dear. Well, that sounds unsafe. Imagine it's one of those one of those jobs that they, they take on knowing what the risks are, of course, and you know, the, hoping that they, they survive it long enough for the pay to justify retiring with what's otherwise a completely fucked body. We have hordes, we do have a horde. That's not good. Because apparently no one here can defend themselves. Yes, Marcus led the way from the other side of the fucking state. Yeah, basically. Like, that's completely their choice. If that's what they want to do with themselves, then fine. Just as I respect, you know, the people who, who do the other laborious jobs that, you know, contribute in other ways. You know, I completely get, for example, you know, miners' bodies get absolutely wrecked and they expire a lot earlier than, you know, mine's going to. But they get paid a lot more a lot earlier in their lives to make up for it. Oh, I can almost throw it behind me. Well, accurately. Satisfying. Oh, do they only bring one thing back with them when they do a supply run? Okay, noted. Well, let's go get that ute and start bringing shit home. A shotgun would be in order if they didn't keep fucking stealing it. Every time I put one in the supply closet, it gets taken. So when I finally did want to take one, I wanted to take, um, wanted to give Marcus the shotgun with the incendiary rounds going to retrieve Maya's belongings. So we will loot this place, and then we will loot the other one. Nothing else there. Bitch, please.
Oh, it definitely did. How's it going? Lots of zombies right behind you. Salt was real there. I mean, the salt was real too when she died in the first place because it was completely avoidable, but fucking I'm loaded up. third person perspective related okay. bullshit. How's it going? Lots of zombies oh, right Oscar, behind you. you idiot. Apparently, the dog's trying to kill Red. Let's just back this into the parking space on our way. Found this while I was out. In here. Crunch. Oh, you know, stuff. Oh my lord. Get it in, thank you. Hope he doesn't fuck like he parks. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Should swap my shoot and my execute buttons. Did I not have another? I must have already put it in there. Nice. Let's grab what we can. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll see you soon. There was. Maya had one early on and then it broke. I imagine we can find more. Better look around some more. I'll run this on. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he'd be an interesting one. There you go. Don't say I never gave you Oh, wrong way. Oh dear. Can we somehow reverse off of it because physics? Hey, that was my kill. Suppose we should go and speak to Alan and see what the fuck his problem is. Hello? Fine. What's a good word? All right, let's go try this. Can't seem to do anything else. No? You want to stay back now? Hey. Well, if you'd fucking done what I told you to, we wouldn't have nommed on you, you stupid f fucking person. So we need to go and find some ammo. It's been something that we've neglected the whole time. I reckon it's probably time we thought about going into the 
uh, ammo shop, the gun shop. There's our pistol. What's left of it? Um, how's Ed looking? <clears throat> we'll swap to her. Apparently she was out and about because reasons. Will that increase her capacity at all? No. Noted. Give her that one because it's you know, a fraction of the weight. Three rounds, but so has a ten round clip, yes. Last clip, better make it count. Oh yeah. She also brought where is it? That one. The Kanda. And we found <laughs> pardon me, found we found one of those yesterday. Um, cutting machine blade. We found a few. Oh, there's an axe. So we've definitely got no shortage of melee weapons. It's the the ranged ones that are getting pilfered at the moment. It was now we can buy seven six two ammo now that someone else has picked up Maya's old rifle because you know grumble. Apparently that's already got a silencer on it. <clears throat> So we want more outposts. We can't put one there. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be one. Uh, I reckon that's probably a good spot for an outpost. But why was I swapping to her? Need a good cook, apparently. Make some snacks. Do that. We need to research harvesting food at the library, apparently. Do we need the farm, though, honestly? Um, oh, of course I'm going to make a dojo. This is me. Do you fucking mind? I am trying to micromanage. Maybe even a Dai Katana. Um, so we have a machine shop. Automatically repairs cars. And we can research explosives at the library in due course. But we need a munition shop for all of that. Can we upgrade our infirmary? We don't have a medical bay. I could have sworn we had a medical bay. Huh. I was sure we had a medical bay. Goodbye, garden. Sorry, but we need a medical bay. We're not having any trouble finding... Oh, our sword's wearing out. <laughs> that only works in a giant black room. Actually, how heavy is that sword, honestly? Oh, it's only, that one's only two pounds. She can survive that. 
<laughs> I was really excited when I saw Black Room teased, and then it just disappeared. Which is sad. Like, it was vaporware before it even began. Medical area. I can't believe I didn't have one of those. That's a lot more important. Uh, now we have a survey point here. Sneak through here. And I am using her a bit more to try and level her up a bit. I liked having three respectable players to cycle through. I think we should probably be working up everybody because inevitably more of them are going to die because this is me. Okay, one more. I could use some food. Let's have a nom. Let's see what's in here. Because this will be a good spot to set up an outpost. It's nice and central. And push him around. God, I hate that the, the the light that she's casting. Honestly, makes me feel like she's using a torch when she isn't. Better do one more sweep. Make sure everything's clear. She's thinking about that zombie outside, clearly. Sounds like the situation out there has changed. Maybe later. Oh, for fuck's sake. We have fully... Oh, we have to search the containers as well. Fine. We can do this. Where's that horde? There is no horde immediately worrying us, so... Is that a stalker energy drink? Oh, uh, it looked like one. Nice. Somehow not over encumbered yet. And there it is. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Um. Do we just get rid of that? Yuck. Let's 
So that now has the silencer on it. I found some supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll get people moving. I think we can hold this place. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. I'm headed home. Nice. Apparently I am. So that we can just dump these in here now. So we still have to bring the big one home. But we can put these smaller ones in the in the stash from here. There they are. Just like that. Got a horde going across there? Got a vehicle there that we can commandeer. Probably grab that and head home. Yeah, no, I'm good. Well, we're going to get this stuff home, and then I'm actually going to call it, because it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I have a few other things I'd like to do with my day before I go grab children. How's it going? Uh, and I am I'm probably going to stream again tonight, because it's me still. Come and get it. Really? The gate's fucking open. Just wow. This is why you're a zombie. Hey, where's that sniper? Just saying. Fucking useless, all of them. Um, right, so that's doing its thing. We can upgrade our sleeping area. A little bit. We've got 16 people now. Can we dismantle that one? No, we're stuck with... We can't really do anything with this library at this point. How are things on the home front? There's an issue with the infirmary. We're trying to get it set up, but we don't have everything we need. We can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. All things considered, I think we're doing pretty okay. Set up traps. Motherfuckers what's what, didn't we? So once we get a save prompt, I'm going to call it. Found this while I was out. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Yep, any time. Was it going to save when I swap to? Who can we swap to? We really should start working through all of these people, honestly. Um, start leveling them up equally. So naturally, we're going to pick the redhead. Uh, what does she bring to us? Oh, we got a save prompt, so there we go. She has a frying pan. Gotcha. And there's our fucking shotgun. At least an alcoholic. Wow. Yeah, so she's gonna die quickly. But that's the problem for the next stream. Thanks everyone who stopped by. I will, again, probably stream later tonight. But for now, cheers. Cheers.